Help me. The pre-live mayhem before everyone gets here. Hello. 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 Hi, everyone. Hello. Haven't done a live in a while. I'd be interested to see if anyone even remembers I've got an account. Seems that some people have remembered. I brought my guitar with me as well. I haven't played that in a while. I'm got this riff I always go to. Messed it up. Hang on, try again. Bit slower, maybe. Oh, I can't even do it. What is wrong with me? I haven't played guitar in ages. I didn't wink at you all, by the way. I, I, that was annoyance. I messed up. Um... How's everyone doing? Um, we all right? Please save the life. I haven't even done anything yet. What? <laughs> like, what would what would you want? Say it. That's. Uh, I love you guys. You're all so excited about the live streams. It's just a mentality I can never like comprehend. Um, I haven't done a live with the tattoo. So this is my first live since the tattoo, apparently. There it is. There she is. That probably is right, to be fair. I haven't done a live in a long time. Um, we're going to school Thursday. Unlucky, Phoebe. I'm not. I've done school. Finished. Nada. Completed. I didn't even tell any everyone, to be fair, because we did college, obviously, and um, I was hardly there because of work but I managed to still get a merit which I thought was pretty impressive for not being there because obviously there's with certain courses that you take mine specifically you get uh, fail pass merit or distinction so I got a merit which is not bad um but yeah yeah someone just asked did you get a grade from college um and yeah I would I would always um what was I saying? I would advise staying through college, no matter what sort of you want to do. Even if it's an apprenticeship, that's still good. Um, just get as much education as you can for the big world, because it's a tough one to go into. By the way, I'm I'm sort of like being as quiet as possible. I probably will maybe sing a little bit if people give me some song suggestions um, for a little four chords. But um, I do want to sort of like respect thy neighbours because <laughs> but I'll probably just get a bang on the door like shut up trying to sleep because you know there's other people in the hotel but um you know I don't think I've also done I haven't we've never done like a sort of acoustic version of Drown on a live stream we just never did that um what's the chords for Drown dum dum that's probably the wrong key dum dum <laughs> I'll do, do, do a bit drown and then and then we'll go in, we'll go into maybe a bit of a four chords so if you don't really know who I am by the way um, drown is mine and my brother's new song to be fair I don't think anyone watching this would have stayed if they didn't know who I was because no one really cares <laughs> we'll crack on anyway All right. I'm sinking down my head above the surface calling out And my head goes on and no one is me now And when nobody's around to hear the sound I might just drown 
me and I don't even know where to start It's filling me up as I'm falling apart And I'm tired of holding my breath It's never enough but I'm doing my best Hey now, what you gonna say now? You're coming through but you always got me let down What can I say when you're in my brain now? Can you complain when you got me in a meltdown? And I swear I feel like drowning Yeah, I swear I feel so down Hey now, just another let down Please just let me drown Now I'm gonna see if I can do Harvey's bit Can't pull me out I don't need anybody to save me from myself If you're looking for someone to help, go find someone else Already done enough damage Got me waiting around in the wreckage Cause these waves are freaking the tension And I don't even know where to start It's filling me up as I'm falling apart And I'm tired of holding my breath It's never enough but I'm doing my best Hey now, what you gonna say now? You come through but you always got me let down What can I say when you're in my brain now? Can you complain when you got me in a meltdown? Mm -hmm. And I swear I feel like drowning Yeah, I swear I feel so down Hey now, just another let down Please just let me drown Just let me drown mm -hmm. Please just let me Don't say, oh wrong chord Save me from myself Please just let me drown Save me, save me, save me Don't save me from myself Please just let me drown Yeah Say now, you come through, but you always got me let down. What can I say when you're in my brain now? Can you complain when you got me in a meltdown? Mm -hmm. And I swear I feel like drowning. Yeah, I swear I feel so down. Hey now, just another let down. Please just let me drown. Please just let me drown. Just let me drown. Please just let me drown. My wrist that again just shows how long I haven't played a guitar for. My wrist hurts. Um, it's normally better at all this kind of stuff because I'm used to doing like four chords for like a couple hours. I used to be able to do them, but mm, it was great seeing you at Festival, Jess. Um, there's a little bug flying around this lamp, very annoying. Yeah, I don't think anyone's ever really heard a acoustic version of Drown. We did one of Lonely. I wanna be lonely while you gonna be like that. But that's in a different key. Lonely start. Oh, yes, yeah, me, isn't it? I've been spending all my nights alone, and I've been thinking. I'm just scrolling through my phone, and I see that you're ghosting me because you don't have the energy. But I know I'm gonna see you next week, so tell me when you're gonna be free. Why are you gonna be like that? So you're gonna go. Come right back Why you gotta act like that If you're so happy Maybe you should go But you won't Swear I'm no good Baby take it slow Cause you know 
I won't, cause I don't wanna be lonely Chance in only some of them from you. Maybe that's why you're so distant. Maybe that's why I am too. Cause I don't wanna feel nothing. Yeah, the pain is still something. Cause I don't wanna feel nothing. Yeah, I don't wanna feel nothing. Why you gotta be like that? So you gonna go but you come right back. Why you gotta act like that? You're so happy, maybe you should go, but you won't Swear I'm no good, baby, take it slow Cause you know I won't, cause I don't wanna be lonely Why you gotta be like that? Say you're gonna go, but you come right back Why you gotta act like that? You're so happy, maybe you should go, but you won't Swear I'm no good, baby, take it slow Cause you know I won't, cause I don't wanna be lonely Why you gotta be like that? Say you're gonna go, but you come right back Why you gotta act like that? If you're so happy, maybe you should go, but you won't Swear I'm no good, baby, take it slow Cause you know I won't Cause I don't wanna be lonely Why you gotta be like that? I don't wanna be lonely Why you gotta be like that? Frickin' fly man, get out! Go away, go away! Sorry. It's bugging me. Badum, Tom would have liked that one. Uh, will you be performing at Slime Fest? Yes, I will. Um, me and Harvey are going to be performing and hosting Slime Fest. So if you aren't able to get there, it's in Blackpool. I mean, feel free. I think I really do think it sold out quite well. Um, so there might be a few tickets left. Um, but I don't know about that. But if not, don't worry, because it's going to be on TV in the UK, on Nickelodeon, I'm pretty sure, unless they've changed that. But if it stays as it was, it should be on TV in the UK, on Nickelodeon. So, um, yeah, going to be hosting and performing all that good stuff. I'm sure there'll be loads of fun content from that whole experience. There usually is. Um, right, I'm being told to have a look at the question box. Um, oh, these are questions from stories. Oh, right. Oh, so you guys, ah, I didn't know it did this. So this is like, is it only questions from my story? Right. Okay. So everyone's basically been shamated by this live stream. Oh dear. Yeah. I mean, Hey, I didn't put any of that, so that's on that's on you guys. Um, so any anyone that wants to sort of uh, look at um, who's put some crazy stuff, um, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, it does it does say the people, doesn't it? It baits them out. Um, I think, or or does it? Oh no, no, maybe it doesn't. Because, I mean, someone's put suck in his toe, move the single beds together and force him into spooning you. This is all questions to annoy Dobby, essentially. Um, but, yeah. So, I mean, I guess it might not be baiting people out. I can't actually see. I can see who's put it when I'm, like, looking through my stories. But apparently I can't in here. Don't know if anyone else can. Um... Uh, it says questions from stories. Okay, fine. 
so no one's been baited it's just you can all see how weird some of you are which is fine there's nothing wrong with being weird it's just some of you are quite weird um right who are you spooning dobby apparently um i'll say this once and only once anyone that's coming to the shows in the next couple of days just be alert on stories that's all i'll say for now um but yeah that's yeah i'm gonna leave it at that and now we move on um yeah i'll do some uh four chords if you guys want to start commenting some songs um, I I will try and do my best to sing some of them. That's how this works. I haven't done it in a while, so do please bear with me. Um, and yeah, I'm on it. So. Um, can't go back. This is the moment, tonight is the night We all fight in so us, so we put our hands up Like the ceiling can't hold us Like the ceiling can't hold us Can we go back? This is the moment, tonight is the night We all fight in so us, so we put our hands up Like the ceiling can't hold us Like the ceiling can't hold us Yeah, return to the back Get it what it is, what it does, what it is, what it isn't Looking for a better way to get about it, but I said to get it Y'all get a little chicken and a hit me, get up They're sharp and they start walking, a little bit of humble, a little bit of cautious Somewhere between like Rocky and Cosby's for the gang No, no, y'all can't copy a bad moon walking This here is our party, my posse's been on Broadway And we did it always, something music I shed my skin and put my bones into everything I record to it And yeah, I'm here we go back This is a moment, tonight is a night We all fight in so so we put our hands up And the scene they can't hold us And the scene they can't hold us Can't we go back? This is a moment, tonight is a night We all fight in so so we put our hands up And the scene they can't hold us And the scene they can't hold us Can't we go back? This is a moment, tonight is a night We all fight in so so we put our hands up And the scene they can't hold us Yeah, like the scene they can't hold us Lady, running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man I love you when you're singing that song, yeah I got a hump in my throat cause you're gonna sing the words wrong a hundred bad days made a hundred good stories A hundred good stories made me interesting at parties, yeah No, I ain't scared of you No, I ain't scared of you no more da 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 No, I ain't scared of you No, I ain't scared of you I like me better when I'm with you I like me better when I'm with you. Yeah, I knew from the first time. I stayed for a long time, cause I like me better when I like me better when I'm with you. Ooh, 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 you. I'm just too scared to try Alright, but if I make it But if I never step outside Of my comfort zone Where I can go It's worth it to make some mistakes You miss all of the shots that you don't take I really wanna change the world but I can't change my clothes Wanna run a girl but can't find my phone I just lie in bed till the afternoon Dreaming about the things that I wanna do If I wanna change the world I should change myself I should make my bed I should dust the show Should I lie in bed till the afternoon Dreaming about the things that I wanna do About the things that I wanna do I do the same thing I told you that I never would have told you a change Even when I knew I never could know that I can't find nobody else as good as you Need you to stay, need you to stay, yeah I do the same thing I told you that I never would have told you a change Even when I knew I never could have told you I can't find nobody else as good as you I need you to stay, need you to stay, yeah mm. I 
need you to stay, need you to stay. Turning saints into the sea Swimming through sick lullabies Choking on your other boys But it's just the price I pay Destiny is calling me Open up my eager eyes But I'm Mr. Brightside mm. uh, How does that go? I forgot how that goes. Um, I was just putting all caps, jealousy. Yes, that is the start of Mr. Brightside. Uh, okay. Don't say you needed me, yeah. You messed up and took a part of me. Mm, I always knew that you were bad for me. But I fell for you so, so easily. Now you need me, don't say you needed me, yeah. You messed up and took a part of me mm, I always knew that you were bad for me But I fell for you so, so easily Now you need me, yeah Okay In the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me so holy, 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 holy. I'm guided, running to the altar like a track star. Can't wait another second, cause the way you hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, hold me, feel so holy. <laughs> that is way too high. Because um, we turn winters into summers and feel one. Ain't living by the numbers. Because you and me go through it like the others. And I still feel the same. And we still get drunk on flash champagne. Cause we turn winters into summers and feel one Ain't living by the numbers cause you and me Go through it like the others and the high still feel the same And we still get drunk on flash and fame Flat champagne Flat champagne Champagne, oh, 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 we turn winters into summers and feel one. Ain't living by the numbers, cause you and me go through it like the others, and the high still feel the same. And we still get drunk on flash champagne. Oh, god damn it, so I said sing a Gracie song. I don't know Gracie songs well enough. I love her songs though. Uh, especially What a Waste. That new one is so good. Um, I know the. Still got you covered. Still got you covered. Yeah, I, I got you covered. Still got you covered. Mm -hmm. Still got you covered. Still got you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't do that one. Mm -hmm. Let's do the higher one. Um. Don't play games, don't play games with my heart. Oh, we, yeah. Now the feels hit me differently. When they hit in this beat, don't play. Don't play. Friendly when they hit it.
in the speed Don't play, don't play yeah. You're right time when you're on with me We gon' have fun on a 360 I'm obsessed with I'm obsessed with the scent on you I think I've messed this up Coco Chanel on your neck with your body in check No, 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 you, uh, now you're just gone missing You're airing all my wishes You're online but still won't listen My time for you dismissing This isn't no way a two-way street I'm playing sad and it's on repeat Mmm, -hmm, see so you must snap But I'm not ready for us to rap No, don't play games, don't play games with my heart Alright, don't make fun of me for the lyrics, I don't know it, and it feels a bit differently When the head in this beat, don't play, don't play, yeah, yeah Don't play games, don't play games with my heart, ooh, yeah Now the feels it me differently When the head in this beat, don't play Took a Polaroid You signed your name and found it I put it in my wallet Hoping I'd see your face again We took a Polaroid Captured the look in your eyes It's only a matter of time Before it starts fading Sorry, I just got rid of that fly That's what that was um... That was a really abrupt ending To be fair, my wrist did kind of need a rest I've already done drown, all right? I did it earlier. You'll have to, I'll probably, oh, I'll upload this live. I just, I can't be asked for the grief. You guys, <laughs> you guys really do get upset when I don't post it. So just for you guys, I'll, I'll, I'll post the live uh, on my IGTV. Um, and you can go back and watch drown. Because I've already done it. Um, See you in Birmingham, Marvy, innit? I cannot wait. I cannot, I cannot wait for tour, everyone. It's next year in April and I'm so excited. I'm, I'm honestly so excited for tour next year. It's going to be so great. And I just want to thank everybody for being so patient because it had to be moved, obviously. Um... And uh, Nicky Davies, I'm, I'm so sorry we're not coming to Manchester. If it were my way, I would have, of course, put Manchester on the lineup of dates. But it just didn't work out that way this time. I'm sorry. <laughs> what, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm Joe Tasker, everyone. Uh, I'm I'm a pretty convincing northerner, I must say. I, I reckon um, I could pass as a northerner if I needed to. Um, I do love up north. Um, Birmingham has a special place in my heart. I do love Birmingham. Um, there, I, there's a lot of controversy about the Brummie accent and Birmingham as a place. I personally love it. So, um, yeah. If anyone wants to clip that northern accent and send it to Joe, I'd be more than happy for you to because... Yes, I was mocking Joe there. That is exactly what I'll, I'll, I'll own up. No, no, that's not what I had in mind, but... Uh, I'm happy for that to be the case. I miss Joe. I miss Joe a lot. I haven't seen him in a while. Who else do I miss? I miss Donnell. I always love seeing Donnell. He's a good friend. Um, I miss Evie, of course, but I've seen her the most recently. But I do miss Evie. Um, I miss Jenna and Jaden. I haven't seen Jenna and Jaden in ages. I miss those two. Um... Who else do I miss? <sighs> Not Dobby, bloody hell. Can't get away from him. Um, I miss all of you guys, of course. Um, yeah, definitely all of you guys. Uh, who else? Who haven't I seen in a while? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Who haven't I seen in ages? If I get any help from the comments, that's probably quite bad though, isn't it, if I can't think of it myself. I should probably 
<laughs> Someone put your girlfriend. <laughs> Where? <laughs> Honestly. Oh, yeah, I miss Holly. Yeah, 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 Holly. Haven't seen her in years. Genuinely, I think the last time I saw Holly was uh, when we did the next shoot for Wembley, which was meant to happen and got cancelled, evidently, which I'm distraught about because that would have been such an amazing event. But COVID did not allow it. Uh, yeah, Casey Simpson. I miss Casey. Yeah, Casey and Holly. Um... I saw Harvey not too long ago, to be fair. Hervey, not my brother. I saw Casey not too long ago as well. Casey J. Uh, Jules LeBlanc. Yeah, I really do miss Jules. Even though I, I only... Right. I, I understand the change of name. I do have to address this here. I only know her as Annie, so it's really hard for me to call her another name. Um, so I'm obviously going to call her Jules, but I, I knew her for what? It must have been four years as Annie, and then it is now Jules. So I'm like, Jules. But when I say Jules, it's just that her face doesn't, like, does, does that not make sense to you guys that her face doesn't match up to, like, Jules? Is that just me? Oh, I miss Jack. Yeah, Jack Duff. Oh, what a sweet man. I need to see him. I miss Jack a lot. Um, Jojo. Jojo Siwa, yeah, of course. I miss Jojo. So, someone's still going with the song suggestions. Um, what else we got? Juliana. Yeah, so her name is Juliana, but I didn't even know that. I just assumed Annie. I was like... Honestly, just in my simple mind, can't comprehend it. Um, yeah, I miss Gracie. Even well, we've, I've only met Gracie twice. Uh, hang on. Once. Once over Zoom and once in person, so technically twice. But, um, yeah, no, Gracie's lovely. Um... Still got you covered, still got you covered. Queen Bambino, Becky. No, I don't miss Becky. No, no. Want to stay as far away as possible from Bambino, Becky. Again, clip this and show her somehow. Uh, this is my statement that I want a restraining order against Bambino, Becky. That she always must be at least... Um, a mile cubed away from me at all times. Don't even know what a mile cubed is, but whatever that is, I just want to be that far away from her. Um, Kevin. Who's Kevin? <laughs> K-E-V-E-N. Kevin. <laughs> I don't know who Kevin is, but I wish I knew Kevin. Oh, honestly, that's such a good name. Kevin. <laughs> Ke Kevin. Oh my God, why is that so funny? <laughs> I think I'm really tired. Kevin. Don't be in like that. Don't be in really like Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, was that a misspelling? I'm so sorry. Nah, it was fun. I promise, it was just funny. I'm not not making fun of spelling at all. It's a Kevin tattoo. Why would I get Kevin? I'm getting another tattoo soon, I think. Um, Kevin. <laughs> no, Kevin McHale. Yeah, I know Kevin. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> oh, I miss Kevin McHale a lot. But Kevin, I want to meet Kevin. Oh my god. Wow. <sighs> what tattoo everyone's saying? What tattoo does everyone think I'm gonna get? Let's have a let's let's have a let's have a go everyone. Let's have a have a little comment sesh. What tattoo does everyone think I'm gonna be getting? It's all right, Elliot Hawkins, your sound. You made me laugh. It's all good. Kevin. Talia Lewis. Yeah? Renna Jane. We're just saying names now. K 
get the Welsh flag tattooed on you? Absolutely not. <laughs> but a great suggestion. <laughs> well, that would be so... I feel like that would actually, in a way, like, be offensive. I'm not... I'm in no way, like, at all Welsh. So, yeah, there really wouldn't be. Um, oh, do you know what? Someone's close with what I'm getting tattooed. It's not quite, it, it, like, right lines kind of thing. Um, get a duck tattoo. It's not going to be a duck tattoo. Although I, I would consider that, to be fair. Um, a drawing of you and Dobby. No, it will not be Supreme. I do like Supreme. I'm actually wearing it now. That's where this top's from. It says no thanks. I thought it was amazing, so I had to get it. Because, um, like, if someone asks me a question, I just go... Well, as in, <laughs> as in like, I'm not going to do that for every single question. So I was like, do you want, do you want some free food? Or, like, do you want a new Lamborghini? Like, I'm not not going to turn that down. Rip and dip. Do you know what? I actually did have a thought. I was like, I could get the rip and dip cat. But then again, I don't really want to. As much as I love rip and dip. I don't know. If if I... It, right. If I... Because me and Harvey are quite good friends with Ryan, who owns the brand. Um, I I would be willing to make some sort of bet with Ryan of something like where the outcome for him is that I get a tattoo of Nerm, which is his logo cat. Um, I would get Nerm on my body and then I'd I'd figure out sort of a a forfeit for him as well. But that I, if I if I ever needed a forfeit to give myself for Ryan, it would be me getting a tattoo of Nerm. Um <clears throat> A new Lamborghini, do you already have one? I don't, no, I wish. Um, I'm still on my starter car because basically if I crash it, which is kind of inevitable because most people do, um, it won't be too expensive. So uh, hopefully in the next couple of years, I'll get um, a new and nicer car. But for now, I'm going to absolutely cruise in my starter car, just treating it like a, a joyride buggy that you'd like... I don't know, go go-karting in, but it's a real car. So don't worry, I won't treat the roads like a go-kart course. I'm not a dangerous driver. I've made myself sound really bad now. Um, <clears throat> where are you going to get it, Elise? So actually, this is something you guys could help me with because I actually don't know where I'm going to get it. I'm stuck between two places. Um, and then I'm going to have a consultation with the guy that does the tattoos because he's amazing and sort of knows everything that will like look good and that I'll be sort of happy with really good tattoo artist. Um, so I'm either going to get it there, and it's sort of like, I think the tattoo would probably be about that big, I mean, you can't really see. So on, so obviously I've got that one there, that's on the side of my arm. I'd get this new one from sort of here, down there. So it's going to be about that big. Um, still not going to tell you what it is yet. Um, or my other place was for it to be sort of sideways, which is actually its normal way to be, um, sort of above here, like there, I think. No, uh, I don't know. What does everyone think? Arm, arm or chest? So I've got a nah arm. Um, uh, it's not a lyric, actually. It's not an animal. All right, someone said yes to the chest tattoo. Uh, it's not foreign writing. Arm, chest, arm, arm. Um, arm. Um, I think the general consensus might be my arm. Um, there have been a couple of chests. I don't know. I'll talk. I'll talk to the guy. Monty is his name, um, and I'll see if I'll see what he thinks. Oh, there's a lot of chests coming through now.
Um, and someone asked how much did my tattoo hurt and if it did hurt. Not going to lie. So, obviously, you guys know I did the stick and poke on my leg, on my ankle um, as well. The stick and poke actually hurt more. Um, so, the arm... Don't really know what to describe it at. The arm was sort of just like someone just kept like pinching me a bit hard, like down my arm, like and only a little bit hard. Like a lot of people deal with pain differently, to be fair. So it's going to be different for everyone. But on mine, I was just like that the whole time. Um, that, like when it first started, I was sort of like, okay, new feeling. There we go. I'm into it. And once I was into it, I just sort of like zoned out and just let it happen. Um, Get it on your badusi. What is that? <laughs> what What is one of those? I would like to know. You should get a piercing. Right, everyone. If I were to get a piercing, where would I get one? Where would everyone put a piercing on my face? Chicks. Chicks. Kevin, I just <laughs> Kevin. Nipples, no, absolutely not. Ear, oh sept. What is the septum? Because uh, I know that. Um, is that 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 bit there? So I'd actually consider that to be fair. Kind of like that, but um. I don't know, I think it would look a bit weird on me. I don't know if I suit piercings, really. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> nose, I don't I don't think I could do a nose ring, to be honest, guys. I don't think a nose piercing is for me. I think ear would be maximum. I really don't think um, the nose is right. Part of your ear is the helix. Okay, so apparently that's the helix. Is that the septum? There. You know, that's quite a girly one, that one. I don't think I'd go for that one. Um, get your ears. I don't think I'd get... I don't, I don't think I'd get these done. Because I like these. I like playing with them. And you can't really play with them if you've got piercings in. So I wouldn't get my tongue, that's for sure. Nope. Um, Kevin, um, wouldn't get a lip piercing, I don't think, lip would be more likely than nose, but I still don't think I would. Is septum part of your nose? Honestly guys, I don't know, I don't, I know nothing about piercing, okay septum is your nose, yeah, and I'm just stupid. Eyebrow, oh, I don't think I'd get an eyebrow one either, to be honest. Not for me. Not for me. Kevin. I think if I were to do anything, I'd probably... Up here. Would probably be the move for me. Um, <laughs> nipple, come on. No. Not doing it. I mean, if it... Uh, I'm... If other people want to do it, do it. Like, if that's what you want. I, I'm i not saying I don't like them on other people. That now sounds weird. I'm going to move away from this conversation. I'm not going to get a nipple piercing. <laughs> um, that's your cartilage, yeah. I think I knew that. I'd get my cartilage done. Gavin. <laughs> At this point, I'll be saying Gavin in my sleep. Yeah, same, to be honest. Um, belly button. No. <laughs> Not getting my belly button done. I don't think I'd get a... No, I don't think I'd get a bar piercing. I think I'd get the little dot one. Little, little dot. Kevin. <laughs> what would it take for you to pierce your lip? I'd pierce my lip for a mil. So if someone was like, you can have a million pounds if you pierce your lip, be like, yep, sound. I'd probably do it for less than that, to be fair. If someone was like, yeah, 100k, pierce your lip, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Kevin. Ke 
Kevin. It's so good. It's not, no, it's not Kevin. It's not. That's not always Kevin. Got him. Um, start the dot is called a start, yeah. No, you, you're right. I just call it a dot because I'm a bit simple. Um, Kevin. Please don't get a piercing. Don't worry, I don't think I will be anytime soon. But if I were to get one, there would probably be the place. Kevin. <laughs> what emoji would Kevin be? Let's have a look. Let's have a look through the emojis. I'm just out. Oh my god. We've named this guy. This guy that I've just. Oh, hang on, can I pin my comment? Wait. Oh no, don't go away, don't go away! No! This is Kevin. That's Kevin. Someone needs to, like, make sure I remember that, because I'll forget. <laughs> That's m literally my favourite emoji. The one I've pinned. Kevin. My all-time favourite emoji. So good. I know what he should get pierced. What? Go on then, Spotless Mills, tell me. What? What should I get pierced? He does look like a Kevin, doesn't he? Kevin. I'm waiting for Spotless Mills' comment now. <clears throat> You're under pressure. Pay you with a Freddo to get your nipples pierced? Absolutely not. You would fully, fully have to give me a million for me to get my nipples pierced. Like, that. that is bottom price. Like, that is, that is my lowest. <clears throat> wait, 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 spotless mills? No. Okay, fine then. Um, big toe? How do you pierce your big toe? What? What is a toe piercing? Oh yeah, who's hard in Scott, everyone? Because on TikTok, especially a couple months ago, or whatever it was, everyone was calling me hard in Scott. I've got no clue, because I'm clearly uncultured. Um... Who's hard in Scott? Anyone? From after. What's after? After the film. I don't know what that is. It's not helpful at all. I think I did look him up, to be fair, and I was like... Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure I look like him? Because that's a good looking fella. And I don't think I look like him. Um, Kevin. Um, but, okay, After, it's on Netflix. It's a hot movie. It's a film called After. It's on Netflix. Google it. Uh, I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch it. it. Sounds like a chick flick thing. I don't want to watch it. Dude, it's so bad. Well, we got one opinion. <laughs> um, Gavin. Oh, but someone else is saying, watch it. Um, nah, I can't be asked. I'm getting quite tired. I'm getting to a point where I'm just staring at my phone and I feel like this is what... To be fair, I feel like this is what most other live streams are like, is people just staring at their phones. I feel like I'm doing pretty well in comparison to other live streamers on Instagram. It's really lazy, isn't it? People do do it, though. Mm-hmm. I'm calling those people out for just staring at their phones, thinking that's somewhat consumable content. People get away with it.
I'm getting away with it. For now, I normally try and do something relatively entertaining, whether you like it or not. I mean, I usually get people leave when I start singing, which is fair enough. Um, but... <laughs> that so sad. Um, yeah. Breakfast. Yeah, someone said, I'm staring at you, Max. I'm just staring back. I'm just staring at all of you. Right down the camera. Just staring at you, probably going a bit cross-eyed now, probably look like a lunatic. What are you going to do? I'm looking at you right now. I can... I, I'm not going to say... I can see you. I can, I can. Instagram's got this new feature where it flips It flips the live stream. I press this button, I flipped it, I can see you. Yeah, that's right, you eating, eating a bag of crisps. <laughs> I really do... Worry for the people eating a bag of crisps right now because they just chat themselves. <laughs> Me looking right into the camera saying, yeah, I see you. Um, <laughs> I know you all can see me. That's the point of this. Jesus. I'm waving. Hello. <laughs> oh, my God. What is this? This is probably the worst live stream I've ever done. But there's something good about it. There's something. There's something like deep down. I'm. I'm still happy. I'm enjoying myself. Um, Max, I was eating crisps. How do you know? I just. Know, just know these things. I'm just smart, full of knowledge. <clears throat> you seem very drunk or very tired. I'm not drunk. I did have a drink with with my meal, but I'm not drunk. I'm a bit tired. Got two shows tomorrow, and then two more the next day, and then I'm done for a while until October, where I've got six more shows, and I'm so excited, I can't wait. I do love performing, to be fair, um, and I think we're, and this is just me talking and just not even giving you any information, just getting excited about things. We've been in talks with people. Hopefully we're going to do loads more shows. What they are, we don't know. Obviously we've got our tour, which is that, but I want to do more shows in other places. Um, and we're having those meetings. So coming to a town near you, hopefully. Don't know what it means. Um, Go um <clears throat> that's not That's not anything... In particular, by the way, like literally nothing's been confirmed. I'm just saying that hopefully we want to be doing more shows. So look out for it, I suppose. Just randomly go busking in cities. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just turn up with a guitar like the old days, screaming at people. Honestly, busking used to be so good. Like me and Harvey, because you sort of see other buskers nowadays. And I do feel a little bit bad because I feel like busking's not quite what it used to be. Like when we did it, because it was a little bit more rare. Like a lot of people busk now. Um, and it's just like, they're, they're everywhere. And people sort of also don't really care now. Because unless you've like got something as a busker, like you've got a bit of a niche. Like you're not just singing sort of slow Sam Smith and Adele songs into a microphone. Like I admit, any anyone who does do that and anyone that's got the balls to do that, massive props to you. But I'm just going to have to say to you, it ain't cutting it anymore. It, like, the busking stuff. Like, what me and Harvey did was we were like, no, nah, we, we're not going to use a microphone or anything. We're just going to stand there with a guitar, sing loud enough to make people want to come nearer. We were doing all the harmonising stuff as well um, and, like, all of that. So, and I think we had probably about 150 to 200 people sort of in this massive, like, semicircle around us at a time. It was mental, the busking days. Like... <laughs> <laughs> at the start of our career we actually didn't sell out shows as well as we used to sort of get crowds of busking kind of thing um but yeah it's definitely changed busking and i think people have sort of got a little bit more lazy about it as well what can you do what can you do Kevin. Kevin. what's my dream car what is my dream car I wouldn't say my dream car is a Tesla, but I would like a Tesla probably next. 
because it's quite a good carbon footprint, which I want to keep. Um, we've got to start doing stuff about climate change and all that, lads. Um, got to be keeping the uh, country in good check and just the world in general. Um, what is my dream car? Dream car. I said for a while, and I think it still is, to be fair. Um, an Audi R8 Spider would probably be my dream car still. Because, um, like, don't get me wrong, I like Lamborghinis. I'd actually probably prefer a McLaren over a Lamborghini. I'm not sure what type of McLaren, because actually I don't know too much about the brands um, of cars, like what different types they have. I know a little bit more about Audi. So, <clears throat> yeah, I would probably get an Audi R8 Spider. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man. It's not a, not a Spider-Man. Audi R8 are getting discontinued. I'll buy a second-hand one. Who cares? I'll get a second-hand Spider. Oh, someone else. They'll still be running, won't they? Um... I'm sure I'll be able to get one at some point, hopefully. Porsches are nice as well. I, um, I'm i just not not as big on Porsches for some reason. Um, I do like them, though. And the, 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 yo, where's the second 24-hour live at? I'll tell you what, when we get really, really, really bored and have nothing else to do, we'll do another 24-hour live. Because, honestly, I couldn't think of anything worse. Like, that was the absolute perfect thing to do for charity because of how much pain we went through. Like, you want to you wanna see people sort of go through pain while they're raising money for charity because then it means more. And it's sort of like, hopefully you'll then earn more money to put towards the charities because, honestly, it sucked. It wasn't even like the live stream was out. It was so great as well because we got to speak to so many people, so many interesting people, so many innovating people, like just incredible people in the industry. But like the problems we went through and like the tiredness and just like it was basically technical problems that just made us so stressed and like tired and everything that I was just like, nah, man, it sucked. But I would do it again for charity, that's for sure. Um Kevin Kevin Are you going to uni? That's a good question, Daisy Logan. Um I'm not. No. So um stuck through it for college. I thought that was the right thing to do. Um and I'm glad I did because obviously I didn't really have as much time for it as I thought I would because obviously we were working quite a lot. And then COVID hit, which sort of screwed everyone up, but actually did kind of make it a little bit easier on me and Harvey. So I stuck through college, got the qualifications. I'm all set on that. I think uni is just, it's amazing for literally everyone, and I, from even what my friends are saying, I can only advise uni. What I would say is I actually think, and this is only my opinion, so no one go and make um, drastic sort of actions on this opinion, but what I would say is after college, I personally think people should have a year off from school to just experience the world without school and do what they want for a year, see if they can get a good job they like, uh, see if they can go and meet some people, travel, do whatever. I think that's really good for just people's mentality to be able to go out and do that. Because as soon as you're done with uni, you're you're at the age where you sort you really do need to grow up. And that can be a problem for some people because some people want to leave uni and experience life and do all of that stuff. And it's like, well, no, you need to really think about what you're going to do for the rest of your life. So I think maybe if you're stuck between going to uni, I mean, it probably is a bit too late now, but I would take, I would, if I was going to uni, I'd take the year off and then go to uni. I'm not going to uni, but, um, cause I'm working. Um, but yeah, I think 
for me personally, that would be the right thing to do. Um, you know, I don't know if anyone agrees with that. Um, you should post more on YouTube. Couldn't agree more. I really do think we should. Um, but as a lot of you know, we've been busy, like very busy. So unfortunately, haven't had time to do that. And I, I also want to apologise for the lack of TikTok content because we've been shocking, like so bad. Um, and again, it's just because we can't. We're either sleeping, packing, travelling, or performing. Like those are the only, um, and maybe eating if we're lucky. I joke, we do eat, but like we're so like this summer has been amazing, and I'm so grateful that I've got to do it. But it's been so unbelievably busy like all the time we haven't even been posting half the stuff um so yeah and and all, all the instagram stuff so fortunately just in case anyone doesn't know we've got a series coming out weekly on instagram which i'm hoping is keeping everyone going content wise um because obviously we're not posting as much on tiktok we actually managed to get that almost done so we're sort of filming we're again we're trying to fit in filming bits for the rest of that series now um and we were sort of on our two week break as well we were filming loads for that um which is why we sort of said it was like a a work holiday because we were still filming um and um yeah so if you haven't if you didn't know about the instagram series over on max and harvey account uh comes out every friday at five i think i think it's five um and i personally love it i it's been one of my favorite projects because we got absolute freedom to just make what we wanted to um so the whole concept was sort of come up with us and this amazing company over in the states called studio 71 um that have sort of been putting it all together they sort of hired the cameraman we've also been using dobby for a lot of the cameraman stuff but we uh, a lot of the so all the news clips were filmed but are on this amazing camera with the cameraman um and then we did a bunch of the sort of longer form content shots as well which are the sort of like activities in the episodes um but then we also did a lot of the activities with dobby um and him filming it so um yeah no but i do love the series I got to play a character as well, which I don't normally get to do, even though it was like sort of a, a version of me, but like just a bit sort of like simpler, basically, um, which I just loved because it was like I didn't have to be myself for that bit. I could just sort of like piss about essentially um, and do whatever. And um, yeah, it does, I, I must admit, like at points it does get really funny. Like I just this it's just ridiculous. Um, and hopefully sort of that will sit on our Instagram for ages and just like get views the more that people sort of come over to our channel. So, um, yeah, no, love that series. If you haven't seen it yet, give it a go. Uh, you don't have to, but I'd really appreciate it. Yeah. Citrus Mills profile picture is my character in that duck hat, uh, that a fan actually gave to me. Um, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. A fan. Yeah we were doing the unboxing in the garden i think and i got that hat <clears throat> from a fan so i'm very grateful <sighs> are you still not allowed to swear so um in the instagram series we do we do swear quite a bit but it's all bleeped out we thought we'd keep it um sensible but not pg so it's like it it's not like cbbc pg it, it's just like still keeping it nice for everyone so like even though there is sort of like references to swearing there's no actual swearing um but yeah so um are you going to do best of all next year i absolutely hope so i'm like oh do you know what thinking of swearing there is one intro and it must be coming up soon that the whole thing is going to be bleeped basically like I, I haven't seen it yet, I don't think, but, like, the entire, it, like, intro, like, the start bit will just be bleeped because it's so bad. Um, but, yeah. And, yeah, so as someone said, we're all sort of 16 to 18 now, which, yeah, I, I gather that. So our our audience 
Our audience is amazing because we have such a wide variety of different people because obviously the podcast is typically quite an older audience. We actually found out it's sort of like 16 to 26. Like it's like that's the sort of podcast audience. And then YouTube, YouTube is like the widest ranging, I think, because it goes from like eight to again, sort of like 22, 23 um and then um instagram is sort of like 14 to 21 tiktok is like 10 to 18 kind of thing it does sort of uh, it ranges um and then the cbbc the old cbbc audience is obviously uh loads of young people i think they've sort of transferred over to youtube as well they watch our content on youtube um i'm just love that i love that people are sort of like still growing with us and watching our content um but yeah obviously we're not we're not going to like take things too far with like swearing we just want to keep everything nice and friendly for everyone um because obviously i know that people a lot of people are okay with swearing but um and obviously everyone swears it's just life isn't it but um i i think it's just nice for everyone to keep it as friendly as possible but also watchable and funny because sometimes swearing equals funny and you can still achieve that with a bleep here and there kind of thing um on the podcast there's definitely a lot more because it it makes it sort of like more serious and and you can talk about things um with sort of more emotion but yeah anyway i think i've fried myself out tired all that i do i do love talking to people and sort of like getting feedback on things um Yo, we got 21-year-olds in the fandom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, there's... I mean, I, I'll be honest. Even at the festivals, like, this weekend, there have been parents coming up to us, like, in their 40s and 50s, saying, we watch your stuff all the time with, like, our kids and and love your content. And, like, you can sort of consider that as a follower, fan, whatever you want to say. So it's, like, I'm happy to sort of provide content to whoever wants to watch it. Um, and hopefully that can be my life and my career, um, which is what I'm sort of aiming for. Um, oh yeah, has everyone everyone listened to the podcast today? Everyone giving that a listen with um, Bailey. Love Bailey. He was so nice. Um, yeah. Right. I think I'm done. I think I'm, I'm all out. Go Vern. Uh, I'm going to leave you with that and go to sleep. I need to save this, don't I? Because otherwise people will kill me. Um, yeah, cool. Good, goodbye, everyone. Good night. Uh, sweet, sweet dreams. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Shut up, Max. Bye, everyone.